Good evening. Hello, Rosie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You have a vacation yesterday. Ajá, tuvieron vacaciones ayer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Durmieron? Sí. Sí, dormí. Ay, teacher. Gracias a usted las vacaciones. ¿Ah? Okay, Está bien. bien. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, guys, it's eight o'clock. It's time to start our class. Today we are going to have our video conference number 11, okay? 11. Let's, 11, yes. Can you imagine video conference number 11, okay? So let's see. Mm -hmm. We are... Okay, Daniela. Um, right now, guys, we am going to take the attendance. That is to remember that is the first thing I have to do in each class. So let me see who's here. Guys, did you take the midterm? Ya hicieron el midterm. Lo hicieron o terminaron? Eso espero. Ok, so it's Tuesday, November 30th. It's the last day of the month of November. And what is the next month? December. December, yes. Yeah. Some people uh, love the month of December because of vacation, right? Okay, so excuse me, November 30th, and we're going to start with Alex Presa. Is Alex in the class? No? Yet? Carlos Gonzalez? Will? Carlos? Alex? Perdón, Carlos? No. And Carlos Jaime Pinto? Daniel Ardón, Elias Ramírez, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Elias Ramírez had problems with he has problems with the with the microphone, the camera. Okay, Gerson Toa, present teacher. Okay, thank you, Gerson. Hilmar Alexander Alvarado, present teacher. Hilmar, Héctor Alfredo Marroquín. Present teacher. Irving Osmin Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Rodríguez. Ismael Isaac Aguilar. Present. Okay. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher, hoy voy a estar solo de oyente, voy saliendo ahorita del trabajo. Yeah, I can see you are in your car. Eh, Karen Michela yes. Ayala Ayala. Ok. Uh, Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Present teacher. Good for you. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Present teacher. Good, Alfredo. Metsi Damaris Molina. What about Rosy, Anabel Chávez de Córdoba? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Silvia Carrillo. Silvia? 
Okay, what about Veronica Susana? Romero? Present. Okay, Veronica. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacio. Present. And David Emanuel Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much for being here punctual, okay? On time. Great. Okay, so uh, let me show you the the um, the presentation for this. Tell first. Tell about your about your wedding. Really, <laughs> at the end of the class, at the end of the class, I will tell you. I will show you some pictures. Okay. Okay. But at the end of the class. <laughs> It was it was very nice. It was a special day. It was I, I felt I felt Sunday was so short. It was a very <laughs> short day. Yeah. I can imagine. Um, yeah. And you were very happy because you didn't have class yesterday, right? Ooh. No, no, no. We miss you. We uh -huh. miss you. <laughs> no, but it's good because you could rest. Mm -hmm. And now you have more energy for the class. Yes. Now so, we are Okay, so we are in our video conference number 11. What is the topic of this class? Information, question, and answer. Okay, and the class objective, let me see someone. Rossi, would you like to read the class objective, please? Class objective, participants will be able to ask information, question, and keep out answer and give answers exactly so at the end of the class you have to be able to make questions make information questions or wh questions does someone know what is the difference between yes no questions and information questions what is the difference for, the, for example, if I say, what is your name? Is that yes, no question or information question? Information question. Excellent. And if I say, if I ask you, are you a student? Michelle? Question. Question. Uh -huh. It's a yes, no question because the answer is yes, I am or no, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just no questions, and the answer is yes or no. But information questions, the answer is information, right? What is your name? My name is Rocio. My name is Herson. My name is Marisol, right? So, you give hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> so, let's start with the agenda. Um, Hilmar, would you like to read the agenda, please? Activity one. Activity one, review all the previous class. Activity two. Activity two, uh, grand wrap. Uh, true, perdón. Yes, warm up, true or false. False. Sí. Activity three. Activity three, vocabulary. Vocabulary, activity four. Activity four, information quest. Activity five. Activity five, wrap wrap. Wrap up, yes. Thank you so much, Hilmar. Yes, that's it. Okay. So those are the activities. It's a very short agenda, but with a lot of content. So it's a very, very, very important class today. So review of previous class. Okay, for the review, I decided that we have a listening exercise. This listening exercise is about your day. It's about daily routines or daily life. 
we're going to listen to people talking about it. And, um, um, well, in this exercise, uh, you are going to practice what you learned in the last week, right? The last class. So um, let me get into the, the website. But I need... I'm gonna send you also the, the link of this of this website, so of this exercise, so you can also do it by your own. It's loading. And I'm going to copy it and send it to you via WhatsApp and via Zoom, okay? Did you receive it? I already sent it. Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Herson, did you get a haircut? Me parece que es conexión privada. En serio. Hmm. Vamos a ver. No le sale. Mm. Wow. Ay, ahí se me fue mal porque es learning. Vale, permítame un momentito. Try again, please. Oh, here's some good. Could get into the web page. Yeah. Quizás, no sé si será de su teléfono, el navegador. Bueno, si no, lo, lo pueden eh, seguir el ejercicio aquí en pantalla, ¿ok? So, it, the, 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 the exercise, the practice is about describing a daily routine. You are going to listen to the audio file and then match the times with the actions using drag and drop. You have to match the times Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, with the actions this person does. Okay? So let's listen. Lo miran bien. Yes? Do you? Do you see it well? Yes, we do. Okay. Listen, please. <clears throat> This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, I'm going to play one more time, okay? This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, so what does she do on Monday? Lunes, on Monday. Go out to the club. On Monday. Listen. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. 
on Monday, it's British accent. Es accent of work late. I work late. <laughs> what about on Tuesday afternoon? On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. Meet my friend? Meet my friend Bill, exactly. I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday On Wednesday morning. Business meeting. meeting. She has she has a business meeting. Night, I relax at home. Thursday night. Relax at home. She relaxes at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Friday night. I go, I go to clubbing. I go out to clubs. She goes out to clubs. Imagine. Hmm. <laughs> Saturday, I go to the gym. On Saturday. She goes to the gym. gym. She goes to the gym. And finally, on Sunday. Visit parents. She visits her parents. Parent. Exactly. Let's check. Excellent, you're a genius. Well done. Congratulations. Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions and you can raise your hand to give the answer. For example, what does she do on Friday night? What does she do on Friday night? And you have to give the answer using the third person singular form. Okay. So, um, I made a question one more time. What does she do on Friday night? What does she do on Friday night? I'm sorry, Michelle. She goes out to the club. club. Exactly. She goes out to clubs. Okay. What does she do on Tuesday afternoon? ¿Qué hace los martes en tarde? What does she do on Tuesday afternoon? She relaxes at home. That is Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday uh, afternoon. She meets my friend Bill. She meets her. Her friend Bill. Remember we are talking about another person. And it's a she. So, guys, please cop. I mean, um, let's give a name to this girl. What name? How can we name her? What name can we give her? ¿Cómo le ponemos? ¿Qué nombre le ponemos? Matatero Terula. Priscila. Priscila. Okay, so please, um, you can write in the chat or in your notebook about Priscilla's busy week, okay? Write about Priscilla's busy week. Okay, write about PCLS BC. For example, you I'm gonna send you the first example. On Monday, on Monday, Priscilla or she works late. En algunos le van a tener que poner el verbo porque no lo tiene. Por ejemplo, en business meeting, she has a business meeting, but you said van a seguir on Tuesday. On Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. In your notebook or via chat. Okay? So I'm going to give you some minutes to work on that. 
And because we are talking about a third person, she, you have to use the third person singular form. You have to add, ¿cómo se hace la tercera persona? ¿Qué le tengo que agregar al verbo? Es. Diez. Es or ies, okay? So let's work on that. If you do it in your notebook, please send pictures. Okay, guys, I am waiting for your for your sentences. On Tuesday afternoon, Priscilla meets her friend, Neil, okay? Her friend, Neil. Porque si no, está diciendo, el martes en la tarde, Priscilla se, se encuentra o se reúne con mi amigo, Neil. Pero no es mi amigo, ¿verdad? Es el amigo de ella. So remember to use the correct possessive adjective. Her friend Bill. On Friday night, she goes up to clubs. Two clubs. Uh, good job, Daniela. On Tuesday, Priscilla meets with her friend. Sería her, Rocia, porque es ella, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Excellent. <laughs> yes, Daniela. On Tuesday afternoon, Priscilla meets her friend, Bill.
On Sunday, Priscilla visits. Visits. Ok. Sí, teacher, la corregí después. Ajá, pero lleva la S, acuérdese, porque estamos hablando de ella. Ok, good job. Vamos a ver aquí, mandó alguien por WhatsApp. On Mondays, she works late. On Tuesday, she meets her friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, she has a business meeting. On Thursday night, she relaxes at home. On Friday night, she goes out to clubs. On Saturday, she goes to the gym. And on Sunday, she visits her parents. Great, great job. She relaxes at home. She relaxes, okay, very good. Yeah, you are using, you are using the, the third person singular correctly. Okay. On Wednesday morning, Priscilla has, sería el verbo de la, on Wednesday morning, Priscilla has, que es tiene, a business meeting, tiene una reunión de negocios, right? Okay, guys, thank you, thank you for practicing. Now, we are going to have another practice. And this is about a true, it's called true or false. In this activity, it says, look, write three statements about you. Two must be true and one false. Look at the teacher's example. Van a escribir tres oraciones sobre ustedes. Dos tienen que ser ciertas y una tiene que ser falsa. Pero ustedes no le van a decir a su compañero o a su compañera. Las escriben primero, luego vamos a los breakout rooms, leen sus oraciones y sus compañeros tienen que adivinar. They have to guess. What is the false sentence? Tienen que adivinar, they have to guess which is the false statement. Look at my example, please. Teacher, yes? sorry, how do you say tienen que adivinar? You have to guess. Tienes que adivinar. You have to Ya se la puse allí. Disculpe, teacher, creo que puedo repetir. Es que vengo Gracias. entrando a la casa. Y... Ay, perdón, me envía a Daniela. Todos, 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 todos. Me decía que repita las instrucciones. Sí, por favor, teacher. Vale. Van a escribir tres oraciones sobre ustedes. Personales, ya, ya van a ver un ejemplo. Y eh, tienen que escribir dos oraciones verdaderas. Y una falsa, para que sus compañeros, ustedes la leen y los compañeros tienen que adivinar cuál es la oración que es falsa, que no es cierta. Traten de hacerlo un poco difícil, ¿verdad? De, de adivinar. Le voy a poner mi ejemplo, ¿ok? This is my example. Statement number one. I don't like the beach. Statement number two. I usually eat four pupusas. And number three, I love dancing. So which is the false statement? I don't like the beach, number one. Number two, I usually eat four pupusas or I love dancing. What is the false statement? You don't love dancing. Okay, another opinion. Ya vamos a ver, you will see. You will see the right answer. Another opinion, Alfredo says that I don't love dancing. I love dancing is false. Él dice que esa es falsa, que a mí no me gusta bailar, dice Alfredo. Okay, let's see, other ideas. 
Sorry. Rosy. Number two. Number two, Veronica dice que number two. I usually use for pupusas. Okay, another idea. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Number one. Number one. ¿Quién dijo number one? Who said number one? Luis. O, o quién dijo? O Héctor. Héctor, teacher. Héctor dijo que a la teacher doesn't like the beach. I don't like the beach. Esa es falsa. O sea, si es falsa, significa que sí me gusta la playa. ¿De acuerdo, Héctor? Eh, sí, teacher, sí. Claro. Ok, vamos a ver cuál era la falsa. Yes, I don't like the beach. That is a false statement because I do. I like the beach. Yes, I like the sea. I like the waves. Yeah, I, I love when the waves crashed on me. I love that. Okay? Cuando las olas me chocan conmigo. I love that. When they crashed on me. So, I usually eat for pupusas. It's true. It's true because when my mom makes the pupusas, I eat four. <laughs> Cuando mi mami las hace, when my mom makes... My mother makes the pupusas. I eat four pupusas. And I love dancing. That is true. I love dancing. So yes, Alfredo, I danced in my wedding. What kind of music? Well, we had our first wedding dance. We danced okay. Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Baby, I'm... Uh -huh. Dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Yes, we dance that one. And then in the party, we dance cumbia, salsa, and, and others. I don't remember the others, but a lot of cumbias and salsas and merengues. Okay, no. so let's continue. Ah, bueno, now it's your turn. You have to make three sentences. Y vamos a decir si they are true or false. So start please writing the sentences and I'm going to send you to break up rooms. Okay? En sus grupos, las leen, las comparten y adivinan. Háganlo así divertido y un poquito difícil, no tan obvios, ¿verdad? Esta actividad les va a ayudar para que se conozcan también un poco más. Por ejemplo, ustedes no sabían que a la teacher le gusta bailar. You didn't know the teacher likes dancing. Now you know. Right? Are you finished? I already sent the example, okay? I'm going to send you to the break rooms. Go ahead.
mañana. <risa> ah, ok. Cayola. A ver, creo que tenemos a Irving también. Sí, está Irving. Uh -huh. Aquí estoy. <risa> ya las escribieron ¿Ya ustedes. Ah, ahorita en eso estoy yo. Este serían <coughs> dos oraciones verdaderas y una falsa. ¿verdad? True. True. <risa> Um, para escribir pescado frito. Fried es, fish. Fried fish. Fried fish. Fry. F R I E D. David, how are you? Ahí, más o menos. So, so. Un poquito enfermo de la garganta. A little bit sick. Así se dice, un poquito enfermo. A little bit <coughs> Un poquito enfermo. A little bit sick. Take little care. Bit sick. You should drink some tea. Ginger tea. Te de jengibre. Ginger tea and chamomile. Manzanilla. Okay. Ca Camomile. 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 Yeah, I wrote it in the chat. Camomile and ginger tea. Ginger yeah. tea. That is very good. That is a very nice uh, um, a tea that helps your throat. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, honey, miel. And also, I forget this, um, the red onion. Emma? El té de cebolla morada, red onion tea. <laughs> Believe me, it's a good one. No, no, no es feo en realidad. <laughs> And sleep. You need to rest. Mm -hmm. You need to rest. Okay, guys, I'm going Long to move time. to another group, but please uh, share share your sentences, okay? And have yes, fun. Gracias. You're welcome. Don't say, tell me thank you. Thank, thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hello. Sí, me gustan los, sí, amo los animales. Sí, me gusta. Sí, I me gusta. love animals. And my my phrase is I don't love animals. That is false. It's false, okay. Okay, now Jessica. I don't like to cook. Um, I don't like what? Can you repeat please? I don't like to cool. 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 I number two, I usually eat for cookies. Number three, I love it work. You love to work. Uh -huh. love. Enca le encanta trabajar. Uh -huh. <laughs> And the first one, I don't, I didn't understand the compliment. I like or I don't like. Can you repeat the la, first? La primera. Primera. The first. La primera es first. Uh -huh. El, y Verónica. She's here. Yes, number one. Yes. Es fallo. <laughs> number one is false. Pero puedes uh -huh. repetir la oración. Es que uh, no la comprendí. I didn't get it. I don't, I don't like to cook. 
No le gusta la comida. Cool. Food. C-O-L-D. Cool. Frío. Ah, el frío. No me gusta el frío. Ok. Sería, I don't like the cold weather. Cold weather. El clima, el agua. I like the cold weather. Así sería. The cold weather. Bueno, ahí se lo mandé en chat. Ok. Thank you so much. I'm going to move to another graph, but good job. Continue, oh. please. Alfredo. I love it car on that. Uh -huh. Como que hay interferencia bastante. ¿verdad? Sí, Gerson, fíjese que se le escuchó así cortado. I'm so sorry for that. Es que, es que tengo la señal mala. Why don't you type it? You can type it in the chat. Type it on the chat. Ok. Ok. Sí, sí, ahí estamos correctos. Bye, bye. Ah, pues si vos amando los suyos ahí. Ah, yo en le digo la las, las escribo, se las digo. Si quiere mejor escríbala usted. Ok. Vaya, dice, le voy a escribir a like rank. Vamos a ver si es. Ah. ¿Cuál sería la falsa? Number three, it's false. <laughs> no. No? Number one, no. number one. No. Number one. Number one is false. You don't no. like the rain. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, you don't like the rain. <laughs> So you like to walk? Yes. I like to walk too. Hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, good. Did everyone participate in the group? Hector, Carlos, yes? yes? You are finished. Sí, finished. Okay, yeah. great. No salimos de los grupos. Yes, because it's time. 
Okay. Yes. So I would like a volunteer to do it in front of the class. Someone, just one, just one. Aha. Uh -huh. Who? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Ya dijo teacher acá Okay, that one volunteer to say the sentences in front of the class so the others we can say true or false. Daniel. Hi, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Daniela. Yes, that's the attitude. Okay. Number one. I love room in the morning. Number two. I don't like eat free fish. Uh, number mm -hmm. fry fish. Pescado frito, fry fish. Okay, fry fish. Number three. I don't like take a shower at night. <laughs> you don't like taking a shower at night. It's difficult. Okay, what is your opinion, guys? Is it two? Can you repeat, Daniela? Number two. Can you repeat? Number one, false. No. Yes. <laughs> Number one is false. Yes. Oh, so you don't run in the morning. <laughs> you don't. I uh, like number, to sleep in the morning. Two. You like to sleep. Number, <laughs> Me too. Number two. Try. A true. True. Yes, fry fish is true. She likes fry fish. I also like it. It's delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. With lemon. <laughs> Hampton doesn't like it for his reaction. <laughs> okay, guys. So, can you imagine it's A47? My goodness, time flies. So, right now, um, we are going to continue with the next activity. In the next activity, we have uh, some vocabulary practice, and this is in your handbook in your book from INSAFOR. And um, we can see here some uh, departments, company departments, and you have to match the, the department with the activities each department does. Okay, so I'm gonna read first the departments and then the, the activities the functions, the responsibilities, okay? Number one, repeat after me, please. Production. 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 Research Production. and development. Research and development. Research and development. Nice pronunciation. Number three, purchasing. For Number four. Number four. Marketing. Marketing. Number five. Human resources management. Number Number six. Accounting and finance. Number six. Accounting and finance. Okay. Um, now I'm going to read, I'm, I'm just going to read, I'll repeat the, the, um, the activities, okay? So number one, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. <laughs> Get the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. 
develop, design new or improve existing products or processes buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc. for the use of the economy. So what is, what is the department of production? Okay, uh, or the teacher, first one. Uh, keep the financial, sería accounting oh. and finance. Ah, accounting and finance. Keep the financial Fine. record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Okay, number six here. Okay. What about research and identify what customers want and need at the right place? Number three. No, number four. Excellent. Number four, marketing. Yes, because this is... Investiga e identifica lo que los clientes les gusta y necesitan en el momento adecuado. Very good. So, research and development. Number five. Uh, uh, number five. You're more quick. Develop, design, new, or improve. Ah, perdón. Aquí. Uh, no, I... Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Recluta, Number five. Five. capacita. Number five. five. Excellent. Okay. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Controla y supervisa la producción de la fuerza laboral de trabajo y el inventario. Number two. Fortune. 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 Vaya, dice, controla y supervisa la producción de la fuerza de trabajo y el inventario. Controla y supervisa la producción de la fuerza de trabajo. Yeah. O laboral. Uh, number three. Is number one. It's number one, exactly. La producción, ¿verdad? Control y supervisa la producción. Uh -huh. Okay. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Desarrolla y diseña nuevas o mejora los productos o procesos existentes. And number three. Number two. Research and development. Exactly. Very good. Investigación y desarrollo, ¿verdad? Buy and acquire raw materials. Compra y adquiere materiales en bruto. O sea. Number three. And number uh -huh. three. Production equipment. Exactly. Purchasing. For chasing, for chasing. Uh -huh. Vaya, for chicos. Eh, si quisiera que me leyeran aquí para que practiquen pronunciation. No sé, algún voluntario para leerlos así, o número uno. Este primero y luego otro. Tendrían que ser six volunteers. Ok. Ok, Hilmar, would you like to start? Yes. Ok. Um... Bueno, bueno. Ya no veo, lo voy a hacer un poco grande. Eh, number one, research. I identify what uh, customer, customer, and uh, what he um, need and there hit the place. At the right place. Okay. Next. Thank you. I teach us. Okay, please, Karen, Michelle. Uh, the crew select and train new employers for the right job is company. Excellent, Michelle. Next, Carlos Pinto, I think you wanted to. Okay. okay. Keep the financial records of transaction, transact, 
transactions involving money, monetary inflows and outflows. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Pinto. Another person? What about Luis Alonso? Control and some verify. Control and some bifurcation. The production, work and inventory. Supervise. Supervise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. What about Rossi? Okay. Hola. Okay. 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 Develop. Design. ¿Cómo dijo? Perdón. Develop. Develop. Design a new or uh, improved existing product or process. Yes. And the last one, Harrison, please. <laughs> Buy and acquire. Okay, teacher. Buy and uh, acquire right material production and etc. for the use of the organization. 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 Yes, buy okay, and acquire okay. raw materials, production buy equipment. And the client and the production. For the use of the organization. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. All the ones Sorry. that participated. Thank you. Okay. Any questions on this? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? If not, we continue, okay? The next activity is about uh, how to use simple present information questions. For information questions, we use WH questions words. For example, what, where, when, how, and what. Do you remember these ones? También tenemos más, who, why, what, how, where, when, which, okay? But be, antes de que empecemos a ya, a lo mejor de la clase, vamos a tomar la asistencia, okay? So let me take your chance for you. Alexander Emanuel Presa. Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Carlos Pinto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Pinto. Daniel Ardón. Present teacher. Elías Ramírez. Gerson Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Hilman Alexander. Present teacher. Héctor Alfredo Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. Irving Osmín Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ismael Isaac Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Francisco López. Present teacher. Karen Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Mr. Tejada. Okay, Mr. Carrillo. Mr. Tejada Maldonado. Present. Metzi Damari Molina. Present teacher. Okay, Miss Molina. Rosy Anabel Chávez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Carrillo. Verónica Susana Romero. Present. Okay, Jessica Marisol Villalta. Present. David Hernández. Present teacher. Lainey Giselle Bautista. Present teacher. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, Lainey, you sell. What is she? Oh, Alexander Emanuel Presa, you are connected now. Okay, you're <laughs> okay, you're welcome. So um, let me see. But, um, ta -da -da. Thank you so much, guys. So let's continue. As I was telling you, WH questions or information questions, use these words. Vamos a ver, ¿quién sabe qué significa who? What does who mean? ¿Quién? Excellent. What does why mean? Why? ¿Por qué? Okay, what? ¿Qué? How? ¿Cómo? When? ¿Cuándo? 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 Which? Es no cuál. Sabo. ¿Cuál? I don't know. ¿Cuál? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Excelente. So, yes. But you use what to ask about things. You use where to ask about place. You use why to ask about a reason. You use who to ask about a person or people. Esa es pizza. And you use how to ask about manner. I'm sorry? Okay. So, okay, so. Uh, don't worry. Ajá. Vaya, sin ver. Yo les voy a decir... Well, first, repeat after me, okay? Who? 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 What? What? When? 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 Where? When? Where? 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 Which? 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 Mm -hmm. How? 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 Okay. How? So, um, I'm going to tell you the question more and you tell me the meaning. For example, si les digo, what? Yeah. No, 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 no. ¿Qué? 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 Yeah. ¿O cuál? Mm -hmm. Ok, vaya. Comienza, I start. Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por, ¿Por qué? qué? Mm -hmm. How? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo? 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 Ok, no, where? No. Where, ¿dónde? 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 Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde? Which? ¿Cuál? 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 Uh, when? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Ok, good. I can see that you have good memory. So, I will send you about an exercise. Van a hacer este ejercicio para practicar las, las WH questions. Para practicar las WH question words. Ok. Ok, teacher. <laughs> Para que practiquen. Ya se los mando ahorita. Give me one moment, please. Ok, it's already in WhatsApp and well, actually in, via Zoom. And also via WhatsApp. Teacher, falta el which. 
están bien aquí, ¿verdad? In the exercise. Yes. yes, teacher. We don't have which. Mm. Sí, no está. Bye. Um, well, let me share the screen. It's one exercise, right? Okay, so you have to match, right? For example, who? Thing, reasons, time, or person, or place. Who? Who persons. Ah, okay, person. Woman, a child, or a firefighter. Those are examples. ¿Quién? La mujer, el niño, o el bombero, okay? Esta era de who. Ay, no. What about what? Thing, reasons, time, or place? Hey. Una cosa, razones, el tiempo, o... Thing. Thing, in, in, a in, cost, in, the tiempo, what? Time. Toy cars, the key, or the dog? Okay, what about where? Place. Place. What about a place? It can be where? At the park, at home. Or outside, que significa afuera. Okay, when? When? Time. Time, exactly. Time. Time. When? Tomorrow? Next day or up 12.23, for example. Why? Reasons. Reasons, que significa por qué, razones. Why? Why do you exercise? To stay healthy, para mantenerme saludable. Eh, why do you wear boots? Por qué usa botas? To keep my feet dry, para mantener mis pies secos. Why do you eat? Eh, pupusas or oh, why do you eat soup because I am hungry you think go hambre mm -hmm. did you finish the exercise great job guys you got an excellent grade 10 <laughs> okay so that was the exercise first about the question words. Y ahora sí, les voy a explicar más sobre la estructura de las preguntas information questions, ¿ok? Vaya. Um, aquí, over here, you can see some examples. Pueden ver algunos ejemplos. Examples. Examples, yes. For example, what do I do? What do I do? ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué es lo que yo hago? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? ¿Cuándo vamos a reuniones? We go to meetings two times a week. Those spaces a la semana. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Entonces, como ven, preguntan. ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es la estructura o cómo puedo yo 
formular una pregunta de información. Uh -huh. Oh. Vaya, ¿qué sería primero? What? Ajá. La question. question word, después que va. Do. El auxiliar, el auxiliary do, and then. Pronouns. The subject. Oh. And finally. Uh. Uh, verb. Exactly. I'm oh, sorry. Yes. What do I do? Where do you work? Aquí lo pueden What? ver mejor. Primero tenemos WH question word. What, where, when, which, why, how. And then we have the auxiliary. Auxiliary. Do. Do. ¿Para quién vamos a ocupar el do? Para... What? Para qué subject pronouns? Are you the we? Ah, muy bien. Mm -hmm. right. Entonces vamos a anotar aquí. El do es para I, you, mm -hmm. ajá, yes. We and they. And they. Exactly. And thus is for he, he, she, he, it, it. it. Uh -huh. Excellent. Vaya. ¿Y este muñequito qué significará? Bueno. Es, un, es el subject, ¿verdad? Que pueden ser estos. And then, we have the, the verb, or the action. Verb. And finally, we have the complement. Time, expression, or any other thing. Entonces, es similar a las yes, yes no questions we do. Lo único es lo mismo. La única diferencia es que le van a agregar la WH question word at the beginning. At the beginning or at the start of the question. Le van a poner la, la WH question word al principio de la pregunta. Muy bien. ¿Podemos hacer un ejemplo? Using, vamos a ver, díganos una, ¿cuál usamos? Verónica, ¿cuál usamos? What, where, when, which, why, or how? Mm -hmm. No está Verónica. Sí, aquí estoy... Ok, you just have to choose. Solo tiene que elegir cuál. What, where, when, which, why, or how. What. What, ok. ¿Qué sería después? Depende del sujeto. Do. What do. Ajá. Uh -huh. You. What. Do. What do you, you? What do you for a living? What do you doing? <laughs> mm, maybe that one could be with the where. It. What do you eat? Uh -huh. What do you eat for breakfast? That could be an example, right? What do you eat for breakfast? ¿Qué, qué significa esta pregunta? 
que come por la, el desayuno. What do you for breakfast? Okay. Now I'm going to use desayuno. desayuno. Uh -huh. Vaya. Now using where? And using that. Where does she? Where does she? Where does she? Eat. Where does she? Study. Or oh, work. Where does she? Okay, where does she work? ¿A dónde trabaja ella? Okay, um, that is the structure, right, for these, for these questions. Did you take notes? ¿Ya, ya copiaron? Yes. yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great for you. I'm so happy that you are very attentive and smart. Good. Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? What do I work? Oh, what do you study? When do they play soccer? Where do we eh, go? Where do we go? Who do I... Who do I work with? ¿Con quién trabajo? Uh -huh. Why does it eat... Bones, porque come huesos. How does she drive? Oh, she drives very fast. Who does he invite? A quien invito él. Uh -huh. Which does he drink? Soda or coffee, right? El which se usa para cuando hay options. You have many options. Uh, cuando hay varias eh, options o opciones, ustedes pueden, eh, which es para preguntar, ¿cuál de estos? Hamburgers or pizza? Which do you want? Hamburgers or pizza? Which es do you prefer? Colores, comida, bebida. Uh -huh. O de cualquier cosa, pero que hayan opciones. Whom significa a quién? A quién? Teacher, have a question. Yes, tell me, Michelle. En el cuadro que usted puso que aparece en el libro de Information Question y Answer, en la primera que dice What do I do? Y en la última dice What I do? Ahí no entiendo cómo es que va a estructurar la oración. Porque la última momento voy a... Ajá, de porque voy a Ajá. Ah, vaya. Es así para preguntar la hora. Se dice a qué horas. Para decir a qué horas usamos la expresión. Va en conjunto. What time. What time. Solamente okay. para eso o habría otro. Hay, también puede ser what color. What time. What color do you want. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Qué color te quieres? What color do you want? Uh, Ajá. What uh, time uh, do you take a shower? ¿A qué hora es, se baña? Uh -huh. uh, ok. Ajá. Es como, como para hacer la pregunta de a qué o qué, también se puede usar así cuando es bien específico. Uh, ok. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Now, guys, vamos a practicar. Let's practice. Yes. Bye, vamos a hacer el ejercicio. I'm going to send you the link. 
so that you can work on this. Y sí, cuando lo terminen, mandan la captura de pantalla de que ya lo hicieron. Please. Send. Please send the, the screenshot. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna also share the screen for you. Ya están aquí en esta página. WH questions in simple presence. You have to organize yes, the words to ask WH questions. Por ejemplo, where sería aquí, ¿verdad? Para comenzamos with the question word. Luego, ¿qué sigue? Do. Do, ajá. Where? Target. Okay. Where they? What is next? The verb. Where do they come from? De donde? From from. Mm -hmm. Where do they come from? Where, de donde vienen ellos? How, where do they come from? What, what would be number two? What? What? Do's. What does she do? Yes. Excellent. Okay, continue, please. Continue. Wow, there are 20 questions, but it's a good exercise because we need to practice. When? Very good. When do when do you when do you you eat at breakfast? Eat breakfast. Okay, number four. Why? Why? <coughs> I'm sorry. Why does? Why does? Yesterday. Why does? Yesterday. No. Vamos a ver. Estamos el why, el does, and then the subject. Ah, uh, why does he study in uh, English? Does he study in English. Excellent. Why does he study English? Okay, number five. Bueno, sigan y luego les pregunto. Ahí voy a ir haciendo preguntitas. A ver cómo vamos. Confían que están trabajando. Y veo mucho con las, las cámaras apagadas hoy. Many people have the camera off today. Well, well, if you're doing the exercise, it's okay. But if you're not, I believe in you. I trust you guys.
How many red books do you have? Pero... Bien, apagado la cámara para que no les copie. <risa> ok, so, boo, number five. How many? Ah, este es otro ejemplo, mire Michelle. Que con el how, how por ejemplo, se escribe para, bueno, en otros con el just no questions, no, information question, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you? Y en este caso, many, ¿cuántos libros? How many books do you read per, per year? Per year. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos libros lee al año? How many, how many books do you read per year? Ok, number six. Number six. How much sugar does he do? Does he? How much sugar does she want? Okay, number seven. How's your house? How's your house? ¿Cómo es tu casa? Okay. Number eight. When they do play soccer. When do, when do they play soccer? Number nine. Vaya, fíjese que en el who, como está preguntando quién, nos, a veces en algunas preguntas no se sabe quién es el sujeto porque está preguntando quién es el sujeto entonces en esta estructura ponemos primero who y luego el verbo directamente who reads short tales quién lee cuentos cortos who reads short tales y en esta estructura como no sabemos el sujeto entonces el verbo va acompañado de la S ¿verdad? Muy bien, ahora veamos number 10. When do you celebrate your birthday? Okay, when do you celebrate your birthday? ¿Cuándo celebras tu cumpleaños? When do you celebrate your birthday? Okay, number 11. She was reading the newspaper. Where? She does read the newspapers. Um, where does? Where does she? Where does she read the newspaper? Okay. Number twelve. How many brothers do you have? Okay, how many brothers do you have? Okay. Eh, Saca un poquito la estructura, bro, teacher. Sí, pero es porque este, empieza con okay. how many brothers, cuántos hermanos tienes, do you have? Okay. Pero igual, ¿verdad? Es WH question. Were, do, subject, and verb. Number 13. Who often? How often, Cabal? ¿Con cuánta frecuencia o cuán a menudo? How often? Does she? Excellent. Does she? Does she be able to travel? travel? Does she travel? By Europe. By Europe. Excellent, Mr. Ay, Gilmar es Alvarado, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, Mr. Alvarado. Who studies English? Who studies English? Excellent, Rossi. 
Who studies English? ¿Quién mm -hmm. estudia inglés? Me, all of you. <laughs> Todos Very ustedes good. estudian inglés. Okay, you. number 15. We mm -hmm. almost finished, guys. We almost finished. Number 15. Where, where do they... Where do they go to school? Okay, number 16. What do, what do? Uh -huh. what does? Boy, your sister in this story. Okay, what does your sister your sister buy in the store. Okay, what about number 17? How often does he go? How often does he go to the movies? Okay. And 18. Where do you? When do you get up? When do you get up? A que hora se levanta, right? Ahí no sería más bien, uh, what time do you get up? Sí, puede ser, what time do you get up? Or when do you get up? O cuando te levantas. What? 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 Number 19. What time is it? And the last one, number 20. How much? Ooh. How, ah, muy bien. How much money? Cuánto dinero? How much money do you need? I know a lot. But... <laughs> I need a lot of money too. <laughs> to buy a car, to buy a new Ooh. car. How much money do you need? Mm, around $4,000. <laughs> Only, only $4,000. Great. So guys, did you finish the exercise already? Trouble, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y en esta, eh, debe estar, how much Doble. does she... La G de, la G de sugar, son dos G, o no? No, Solo it's only one. Ah, sí, es only one. Oh, ah, es que yo le puse she y es he, miren, ay Dios, ya no veo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how much sugar does he want? Y era, yo puse she and it was he. Oh, yes, ya ven, ya, ya me estoy durmiendo. You have to participate more. Hablenme, <laughs> because I'm tired. Okay, so good job. Ya vemos aquí. Wow, vamos a ver, Rosy. No logro ver bien la lo que escribió Rosy. Bueno, este ejercicio lo pueden seguir y seguir haciendo hasta que le salga perfect, ¿verdad? Okay. Como van? Ah, oh, vamos a ver Michelle. Michelle, you got C. <laughs> Ay, sí, si lo hacen desde el celular, sí, a veces algún. Ah, how many books do you read per year? How much sugar does he want? How is your house? Sí, igual no dejen espacio y luego pongan el question mark porque se la va a marcar mala. Sí, porque no entiendo. Ajá, esa, esa le salió mala porque dejó el espacio. Luego, uh -huh. how many brothers do you have? How often does she travel by Euro? Es porque en Euro no le puso la mayúscula a la E. Luego en when do you grab puso you en vez de you. What, what time is it? What, what time is it? And how much money do you need? 
Veamos, veamos, let's see. Lo mío son mayoría errores de ortografía, teacher, por el teléfono. Sí, eso es lo que sucede, que si se hace a veces desde el teléfono, vale. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, but as I told you, you can keep doing this exercise until you get it perfect. Okay. I would like to know if the majority finished. Ya la mayoría terminó, did the majority finish? You can um, react with a thumbs up. You're finished? Okay, thank you, Metsi. Thank you, Carlos. Only two people. Well, Michelle, Rossi. <laughs> okay, I... let's continue. Now, guys. After practicing the, the, the order of the structure, now there is a reading comprehension exercise. In this exercise, it's another exercise in which se habla de, de comprensión. Vamos a leer un poquito, van a leer un poquito, y también, eh, pues, después de eso, you are going to answer some questions. Van a, van a responder information questions. Es que trabajemos en este otro ejercicio. En this other exercise, please. Ok. Teacher, no comprendí porque no sé si a mí me está dando problema mi internet, no sé. ¿Sobre qué? Eh, eh, no sé, me creo que me quedé como unos dos minutos fuera de la... Ah, ok. Right now I sent another link with a reading exercise. Envié otro, okay. otro link Ajá, with, a, with a reading exercise. A mí me gusta ponerlos a leer un poco porque cuando se lee se aprende más vocabulario. Ok. This Thank you, teacher. Like in Liverpool. You're welcome. She, she, you play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. One, read the next. Two, answer the question. I know. Van a contestar las preguntas, dice, con una palabra nada más. Ay, tengo que sentir el micrófono. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah. thank you for reading it for all of us. <laughs> With the microphones. <laughs> okay. So we have here reading comprehension. ¿A quién le gustaría leer el párrafo? Who would like to read the paragraph? It's a very easy one. I am teacher. Excellent, Hilmar, go ahead. Ok, 
Okay. Hello, my name is Lola. I am a nine year old. I have one brother. Martin, he is a 12 year old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog, is my name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. afternoon. My favorite subject, subject is the school is art. My favorite subject is school is art. Thank you, Mr. Alexander Alvarado. Okay, now let's answer the question. How old is Lola? How old is Lola? Nine years old. Very good. Nine. How many brothers does Lola have? One brother. One brother. Bueno, en vez de poner el número, lo voy a poner nine. One. Where does Lola live? Liverpool. Liverpool. She lives in Liverpool. Who is her dog? Who is her dog? Chili. Yes. When do they play in the park? Afternoon. In the afternoon. Exactly. In the afternoon. What is her favorite subject? Art. Art. Art is cool. Yes, art is her favorite subject. Let's check. Oh, yeah, it's the afternoon. But yes, excellent yes. so much. Yes, on mm -hmm. the afternoon. I wrote in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so nice, guys, for this exercise. Mm -hmm. Five questions. We did it. We did it, yeah. It was a very easy exercise. Okay, if you're finished, you can send your, you can send the screenshot of your results, right? Great. Let me see, uh, I'm looking at the other ones you sent. Excellent, excellent. Great, guys. Very good. Okay, so after this exercise is now, guys, uh, in this exercise, you have to create questions based on the answers. For example, I'm gonna make one example for you. I need your attention. But, tienen la respuesta. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes? En base a la respuesta, van a crear la pregunta. The answer is, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. How do you do every Friday? Ok, no. yes. También puede ser, what do you have to do? ¿Qué tienes que hacer cada viernes? What do you have to do every Friday? También puede ser, when do you write a report? about the production. Entonces vamos a hacer esas preguntas. ¿Le gustaría trabajar en grupos para ayudarse o en parejas? To help each other. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, 
You can help each other with your partner, okay? Any questions, I am gonna be here. Don't worry, uh, Juan Francisco. Mm -hmm. No nos pusieron en grupo. Aún no, todavía no. Perdón que no le di aquí iniciar y yo decía, ¿y por qué no entra? <risa> <risa> I'm so sorry, it was my mistake. But now, go ahead. Well, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm I'm looking for the exercise. Oh, okay. I'm going to send it anyways. Okay. So, yeah, because some people tend have printed. They don't have the book printed. No, I don't have printed. Okay. Book. Some Maybe of you... Will print. Yeah, it would be a good idea. Now, did you receive it? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, see, sí, Luis Alonso. Hoy oh, estamos listos. Y Juan Francisco. Great. What? Uh, but la primera podría ser maybe what do you do on Friday? What do you have to do every day? Every Friday. What do you do on Friday? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Porque dice I had to write a report about the production every Friday. Tengo que escribir un informe sobre la producción todos los viernes. Puede ser esa la pregunta, ¿verdad, profe? What do you yes. do on Friday? Yeah, that, that is a possible question. Mm -hmm. Also, when do you write a report también? Mm -hmm. Okay. está bien. What do you do on Friday? Okay, the second one. Uh, 
I work in the blue building. Where do you work? Aquí le dice, yo trabajo en el edificio azul. Edificio lo que significa la última. Ajá, building es edificio. Oh. I work in the blue building. Trabajo en el edificio azul. Puede ser, ¿dónde trabajas, verdad? Yes. What? Where do you work? Where, ajá. Where? Uh -huh. Where? Where do you work? Okay. Sería when, cuando, no, o oh. a qué, 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 quiero ver, no, sí. ¿A qué? Sí, la teacher dijo que sí se podía. ¿A qué? What? Así. Ah, what does? What does? What time? What time? Sí, what time? What do? do what do? Sí, what, what do time? What, what time does? What, what? No llevaría el do, ni el does. No, porque, eh, ajá, sería das. Dos. Ajá, what does, what does. does. Tai. Eh, para nosotros creo que es day, ¿verdad? Ajá, day. What does. What time does day. Porque empezamos a trabajar, dice. What, what does. Day. What does. What time does they work? They work. Entonces, esa sería la pregunta ya formulada. What does the time? Sí. What time does? What time does? Okay. What time does work? Hello, people. Hello, group. Okay, did you finish the questions? No, teacher. No, yet. Are they difficult or easy? Difficult for me. Okay, um, don't worry. Well, it's 9.54. We are going to come back to the main, with the main room, the main session, and maybe we can check some questions. And don't worry, because we are learning, right? And this is a process. Okay, so how was the exercise? Easy or a little bit difficult? Or very difficult? Very difficult. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to continue practicing, okay? I, I'm going to show you some, uh, and you can compare your answers with this one. Pueden compararlas, ¿verdad? Las que hicieron, las preguntas que hicieron con estas que les voy a poner. Por ejemplo, para la primera puede ser, what do you do on Friday? Number two, ¿cuál sería number two? Yo where, puse, what do you work? where do you work? Where, where do you work? work? Where do you work? I work in the blue building. ¿Dónde trabaja? Trabajo en el edificio azul. What time do you start working? Or when do you start working? Ay, aquí se me olvidó. En María. What time do you, en María? Perdón. Ahí What se time? Or when do you, en María, start working? ¿A qué horas o cuándo tú y María comienzas a trabajar? Okay. La otra. How does your department do? No, perdón, aquí me equivoqué yo. How does your department work? Oh, ¿Cómo trabaja tu departamento? Nosotros diseñamos y otros crean el producto nuevo. Yo creo que esta era como la más difícil de, 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 de formular la pregunta. Y la última, why do they have a meeting? ¿Por qué ellos tienen reunión? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows. Les voy a enviar esto para que lo comparen. You can compare your answers. And right now, guys, it's time for you to, no, it's time for me to take the attendance, okay? So don't forget to say present or to say here. Okay? Okay. Just just give me one, just give me some seconds to send you the image of this exercise. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's see, Alexander Presa. Present teacher. Carlos Gonzalez, Nuila. Eh, Carlos Pinto. Present teacher. Daniel Ardón. Present teacher. Elías Ramírez. Present in the chat, ok. Gerson Otoniel Tobar. Present teacher. Gilmar Alvarado. Present teacher. Héctor Alfredo Marroquín. Present teacher. Irving Osmin Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ismael Isaac Aguila Rivera. Present teacher. Ismael, le quería preguntar si puede quedarse hoy a la sesión de los 10 minutos. Uh, si me permite, mañana mejor, eh, teacher. Mañana le doy por seguridad, sí. Vaya, sí, es que hoy en realidad le tocaba a Juan Francisco López, a usted le tocaba ayer. Entonces, si gusta, la reprogramamos para el día que se va a reprogramar la, la reunión. Ah, la, perfecto. La videoconferencia de ayer. Ajá. Ah, ok. Hoy le toca a Juan, en realidad le toca a Juan Francisco, pero yo decía, ¿verdad? ¿cómo se le toca hoy? Ah, entonces Ajá. me quedo para la reprogramación. Sí, uh -huh. para okay, poder perfecto. seguir el orden normal. Ah, oh, ok, perfecto. Sí, hoy le tocaba a Juan Francisco López, pero tiene un problema, se le arruinó el celular. Pobrecito. Ok, so next person, I'm so sorry. Next person is Juan Francisco López. Present teacher. Ok, Karen Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Luis Alonso Carrillo. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo Tejada. Present. Betsy Damaris. Present teacher. Rosa Anabel Chávez. Present teacher. Silvia Carrillo de ba Vázquez. Verónica Susana. Present. Jessica Marisol. Present. En Dalí Present. Hernández. 
Okay, guys, That's what did you learn today? <coughs> what did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendieron hoy? WH questions. WH questions. Okay. And uh, um, what is the structure? ¿Alguien me puede decir cuál es la estructura? O alguien me puede decir las WH question words. Por lo menos cuatro. The structure is okay. WH plus auxiliar plus subject plus verb plus complement. Excellent, Alfredo. Good job. Okay, question words. One. Who, what, which, which, where, we, what. Excellent, congratulations. Oh. Ok, me, me dice Juan Francisco que él cede su lugar de ahora porque tiene un problema con su celular y, y la podemos reprogramar para jueves. Quiero ver a quién le toca día jueves. Y si esa persona puede hoy, la, la hacemos hoy. Si no, pues no está en obligación, no se preocupe. El jueves le toca a Jessica Marisol. No, perdón, a ella no. Sí, ¿verdad? A Jessica... No, 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 me equivoqué, ya la tuvimos, ¿verdad? Perdón, perdón, le toca a Silvia. Ay, Silvia no está hoy. Ok, don't worry, guys. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hey, show us well. the picture of your wedding. Good night, teacher. Oh, See teachers. you later. I'm going to send you some, some in the group. Okay? In the okay. WhatsApp group. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. ¿Cuándo me toca a mí? A uh, Gerson. Le toca... Ay, perdón. Ay, es que miren, yo me confundí. Lo siento. A usted le tocaba ayer. Ah, pues era usted que Ajá. le tocaba ayer. Sí, yo me confundí. Tiene toda la Más razón. Más o menos acordaba que el 29, pero... Sí, tiene no, la razón. Toda el... la razón. Sí, entonces, ¿y qué usted nos quedamos hoy? Gerson, ya me solucionó el problema, okay, que no problema. me confundí con el lunes pasado y el martes pasado. Ok, Gerson, tell me, what questions do you have, any doubts, or would you like to practice? No sé, a mí me cuesta bastante eh, todo, pero bien, estoy aquí intentándolo. Eh, no sé lo que me preguntó se me quedó perdido. ah le pregunté que si, que si tiene algunas pre preguntas o si le gustaría practicar por ejemplo con lo oh. que vimos hoy con lo que vimos hoy me podría hacer algunas preguntas las puede también escribir en el chat por ejemplo este, con what? ¿Qué pregunta me puede hacer? Usando el auxiliar do or does. Hello, her son. I think you have problems with your internet connection. Okay. Mm. 
You're having problems. Esta situación no salir de la clase. Sí, sí. Ok, este, no sé si me puede ayudar a practicar. Ok, practicar. Sí. Ok. Um, what time do you get up in the morning? Get up. Um, what time? What time do you get up in the morning? It is six uh, the clock. I get up at six o'clock. Oh, okay. I, I grab at the six and the clock. At six o'clock. Okay, good. Very early in the morning. Okay, Harrison, and where do you work? Um, where do you work? Employed in offices. In the office. Okay, in an office. In the office. Okay. What do you do at work? What What do you do at work? ¿Qué hacen su trabajo? What do you do at work? Okay. Uh, my... Is... Is for age grade and the report. ¿Cómo se dice? I write reports. I write reports. I write. I write reports. In. Que es un poco complicado. In. In. ¿Cómo se dice contesto o, o hablo por, eh, por I teléfono? I answer phone calls. I answer phone, phone calls. Uh -huh. I answer phone calls. Voy a escribir en el chat. Ok, I answer phone calls. Uh -huh. Ok. <clears throat> Another question. Harrison, where do you live? Um, I am live in Jujutla. Ah, ok. A watch up. Ok, cuando decimos I, para decir a dónde vivo, solo tiene que decir I live, no tiene que usar el I am. Solo I live in Jujutla. Ok. Uh -huh. um, Harrison. Uh, how many brothers do you have? Um, in, in the seven? I have two brothers. Walter and Giovanni. I have two brothers. How many brothers do you have? Uh, me pregunta cuántos hermanos tengo en mi casa. ¿Cuántos hermanos tiene? Eh, le, eh, seven. I have seven brothers. I, I have seven brothers. Pero todos son varones. Or do you have sisters? No. How many sisters do you have? I have... Eh, seven, eh, four... four eh, Brothers? Four, four brothers and two sisters. And two sisters. Okay, and four brothers sisters. and two sisters. Yes. I have two brothers and one sister. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Okay, Harrison. Um, let me see another question. Which do you prefer, cats or dogs? ¿Qué prefiere? Which do you eh, prefer? No. Cats or dogs? 
I prefer. Uh, no tengo preferencia. Bueno, I, I no prefer. I don't have a preference for anyone. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Which do I you prefer? Know. Pizza or pupusas? Um, I prefer pizza. Okay. <laughs> okay, Herson. I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope you rest and do the homework. That's going to help you. And we continue practicing tomorrow in the class. Okay? Y uh, los okay. felicito porque siempre está ahí. Yo lo veo atento en la clase. También participa, aunque sea en el chat o a veces... A veces ahí participan más en el chat, a veces, o en las sí, reacciones. Me cuesta, mucho, me cuesta mucho memorizar, hay cosas que repito, pero siempre me termino olvidando. Pero trato de estar oyendo para que no sea algo que me quede ahí. Sí, para la memoria ayuda mucho tomar notas y luego repasarlas. Eh, también ayuda mucho usar lo nuevo que usted está aprendiendo, úselo. Aunque sea, si no tiene con quién practicar, aunque sea, hable solito. O si no, con, con algún compañero. O compañera puede ponerse de acuerdo para, para practicar un poquito en audios o en mensajes. Pueden escribirse en inglés, empezar a escribirse en inglés. Como le salga. Ajá, eso ayuda muchísimo porque usted está pensando y cómo digo esto, cómo puedo decir esto. Uh -huh. Sí, realmente sí, me, me, realmente es solo la clase, solo la clase es la, es la práctica y pensar en eso. De allí, este, aparte de la clase, no, no practico. Entonces creo que eso, eso sí es necesario, que, que, que practique. La práctica ayuda mucho, mucho, mucho a avanzar. Ok. Uh -huh. sí. Igual, si no... También me puede escribir, me puede preguntar, teacher, estoy pronunciando bien, estoy... investigar por su cuenta, no solo quedarse con la clase. Uh -huh. Ok, okay Gerson. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.